So you have an affiliate website and want to use Google Analytics for. Well, you can install it and then you will get great data about where your users are coming from and what they're doing on your website. But don't forget to actually also set up conversions. And for an affiliate website, I would argue that the conversion is the actual click on the partner link. So they go over to your partner and hopefully buy something. That's the interaction that we can track with Google Analytics for because it's actually happening on your website. So let's set this up in Google Analytics 4 and get really cool data into our system. So on my website here, I come up with a really cool review about this beard bib. And obviously it also has our little affiliate links in here so people get to amazon.com and can buy the product and hopefully i'll get some commission from that on our site we already have google analytics 4 installed so if you want to set this up we have a tutorial for you as well that you can check out and with google analytics 4 set up you get some really cool data about your users how many are on the user side you can look into the real-time reporting as well to see where users are coming from but what we are interested in is our traffic acquisition probably to know how many users came from our organic search and then also how did they convert and how many conversions did i have now this is a demo account from google so it doesn't actually show our numbers from our website but when i go over here we can go over to the same report in the acquisition and traffic acquisition we will see where our users are coming from here's it's a referral and we don't have any data about how many people actually converted. So how can we fill this column out? Well, for an affiliate side, we actually want the user to click on one of these links. And the cool thing about Google Analytics 4 that it actually tracks it automatically for you already. All you need to do is, first of all, install Google Analytics on your website. Again, we have a tutorial for you ready. But also, what you also need to do is under the stream settings here, enable some enhanced measurement events. Now, enhanced measurement is Google's way of giving you additional data to just the page view data. You just need to turn them on right here and you'll get data about scrolls, outbound link clicks, site search, form interactions, and so on. Now, the one that I'm really interested in are outbound clicks because we are actually clicking on a website link that is outbound to our website. It doesn't include our URL and therefore it goes outside of the website. And this is actually something we would be interested in. So I'm going to turn this on. I have this on already. And now I'm going to try this out. And I can try this out with the in the admin section, actually. Go on and scroll down to the debug view. Now, this is a view that it will show you different data about your behavior right now on the website. This only uh, functions because I have turned on the GA debugger, which is a little extension that you can get in the extension store from Google. And then it will show my website behavior data right over here. So I'm currently on the page view right here and the page title. This is the page title, but we also have information about where we are on right now. So this is the actual URL that we are on. So now let's try out to actually click on our affiliate link here, which is an outbound link click. I'm gonna click on it and let's see if we get new data in. Scroll up here. Sometimes it takes a little bit because the data needs to go through and also sometimes these hits are batched. So hopefully we get something. Yes, we get a new event called click right here. And this click would resemble all the outbound link clicks that we are getting on our website. We can look at data like the link domain. This would be amazon.com. We would also have the link URL, for example, what product it went exactly to and more. Or not the problem really is that this is not specific to our partner link, to our Amazon partner link, because this would also trigger if I, for example, click on any other outbound link, such as, where do we have a nice outbound link? For example, down here. So this would go over to WooCommerce and obviously would also be registered by Google Analytics as an outbound link click. So I can't really utilize it as a conversion for our purposes. Here we get the scroll and here we get the click. All right, so this is going out to a page well this is the page one but here we are going to woocommerce.com so that's something we don't want to have as a conversion inside of our google analytics so how can we filter down on these little events well we can do it all inside of google analytics 4 let me show you how so we we'll go over to our events section right here and this is all under the admin menu still 
And here we have the events that are currently coming. So we have a click event, page view, scroll, select item, and we can mark them as a conversion. But again, we don't want to mark the click as a conversion, as this would mean that all of our outbound link clicks would be counted as a conversion. We only want to have one event. This is our partner link click from that the links that are going, for example, to amazon.com. So what we can do here is create a new event out of this click event by clicking this button. And we need to know a little bit of something in order to make this work. First of all, we want to give it a new name. And I'm going to call this partner click. And I'm going to use snake case. That's kind of the convention that Google Analytics uses. And I want to adhere to this one. And I would recommend to do this for you as well. Then we have our event name. And this is what Google Analytics actually looks for in order to create that new event. So the event name needs to equal in our case click. And then also, and we're going to put in here item that is not in the list yet. I don't think it will, these are only standard events. So we don't have our link URL that we actually want to use. Well, we can type it in link underscore URL. And if you remember, this will show us the exact link that the user went to. And this should contain amazon.com. That way we only fire this event once these conditions are actually true. We want to copy the parameters from here. We don't want to modify anything. So let's create. And we have a new partner click in here that is now being tracked. What we can do right now is to go into our debug view uh, again, right here, and go back to our page. Going to reload this one, okay. And now click on one of our nice links here. Going to Amazon, and let's go back to Google Analytics. Wait till this data comes through. Here we go, we get a click event, but also now a partner click event. And with this event, we have actually clicked on our amazon.com. If I would do the same thing and click on our negative example here on WooCommerce, for example, which is not an affiliate link, then we would also get a click event, but no partner click. Let's wait for it. And here we go. We get our click event, but no partner click event. So that seems to be working. Well, this is the page title, the link URL is WooCommerce, and that's why it didn't fire our partner click. So all we need to do now that we have tracked this event correctly is to go in and mark this as a conversion right here. Now it takes sometimes a little while till this populates in the event section. So you will see something like this right here where you have the partner click and you just put in mark as conversion right here. What you could also do, although I would recommend to wait for this, you could go over to conversions and then click on new conversions here and enter the exact name. So in our case, partner click and we'll save this and this will now be a marked as a conversion for us so when we again go back to our page and click on one of our nice links then we should see not only in the debug section here a click event but also a partner click event and a conversion which we would see with the help of a little flag icon as well so let's wait for this and here we go. We have a partner click, which has now a flag icon, which is a conversion marked as a conversion itself. How do you view this data actually? So once the data comes in, you can click on the event itself and then it will take you to the right report to show you how many partner clicks did you have in a given time period. Unfortunately, it takes us a little while to populate. So our account doesn't have this yet. And obviously what you can also do and how you can use that data later on is go over to acquisition traffic and then you'll find your data here as well for the conversions that have been created. If you choose the right conversion right here, that will show you this. Consider subscribing for more tips on Google Analytics 4 and how to use this data even further in your analytics.